Hello. I hope you guys are all doing good tonight. I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on another style that you can add and do yourself at home. That's super, super easy. I have been working on just something here myself off and on. Um, so just ignore all of this. I'm gonna work around it, but I'm not, I'm not here to teach you this kind of stuff. This one's gonna be super easy. And all you're going to need um, is a little bit of Amica Undone. It's a texture spray and just spray it throughout your hair, up into your hair. Pin these braids together there. And you can start this, I would say in a U shape up here, um, I would start the same technique, but because I already have this going on on Svetlana tonight, we're gonna start it down here. And what you're going to do is just grab a section from each side. So again, you would grab just a section right here and meet it in the middle there. And then you're going to take just a small elastic and you're going to pony that there in the center. And then this is where it gets fun and you get to be creative and have a lot of playful creations. You're going to reach through. I'm going to redo that so you can see that a little bit slower. Just take that where I have those connected and put my two fingers through there. Lift this up and pull those through. Loop that through and just kind of tighten that. And then I'm going to come in on the side and I'm gonna pull all these fun little loops out and just kind of take my index finger and my thumb, just kind of play with that a little bit. Okay, you're gonna keep doing that. So we're gonna grab two more sections over here. We are going to join them again in the back center. Another small elastic. Now, I do recommend that you use clear elastics. They're a little bit easier to hide. So, reach through that loop with your two fingers. Take this section and then grab that with your, your two fingers and then loop that through. Kind of tighten that back up there. And then again, just go back in, you're gonna pull Loop those out. This almost gives the optical illusion of a braid without having to know how to braid. So I've had a lot of moms in here or even a lot of girls saying like, oh, I really want to learn how to braid. I just can't figure it out. Um, your tutorials are awesome, but I'm still like, it's me. It's not you. It's me. I hear that a lot. And um, you're not alone. There are many others. And this can be a good alternative. So I just took another two sections, gonna pony that together there. We're just gonna repeat it, repeat the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't even hesitate to like go back in with texture spray, like as you're pulling these out, just to give them a little bit more floof. You can even do it before you start tugging on them as well. It's going to add that texture and give that grip. Add some those braids under here. I'm kind of working around too. I hope this makes sense. And I hope that if you guys ever have any questions or I'm not being clear enough, you give me some constructive criticism and let me know. See how that's kind of starting to form a braid, braid look through here?
kind of actually like how this kind of looks together here. Um, I probably would do it without this infinity braid there and just, I would personally just kind of build that volume there and then still do two really loose French braids here and then start this technique and I think that would be really, really pretty. Um, this is very similar to how I did Lainey's hair for her dance pictures. If you guys saw those, I was pretty proud of them. So even as you get away from the scalp, for a while you're going to be working on scalp, but then you're going to get away from the scalp and you're still going to be pulling from the underneath side. Isn't it so cute? So you could always pony off way before you're done. I, I like it if you carry it on down, especially if you have hair as long as Svetlana here. But And then if you have a hard time hiding your, your rubber bands, your elastics, you could. Um, what I did with Laney's was I went back in and took a little bit of baby's breath and just kind of tucked them in there and it helped hide them a little bit. Some hair jewelry would be really cute. Or just leave them because still really dang cute. I'm going to do one more, and then, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. I like it like that. I almost rubber banded it together, but I kind of like it left down like that if I'm going to leave it that way. Okay. What do you guys think? Think you can do it? This is Svetlana. She was a good little model tonight. So take this guy out of this particular style, but use the French braiding technique that I've taught before and then this new pull through technique, and I think you would have a beautiful, beautiful style. Um, if you guys would like a tutorial on the Infinity Braid, just comment below and let me know. Thank you. Have a good night.